Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. We won the die roll up against Pizzo 9-6. And, uh, hmm. Well, we, we can keep this. It's not the world's best. We'll Ash Barons for our planes. And then we'll be on our way. So we're going to go ahead and pass it through. Ash Barons end a turn. Set up for dropping two one drops. Hmm. Vampires. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, my allergies are killing me this morning. Holy cow. I apologize. Well, let's grab our planes and start getting set up for what appears to be... Oh, look at that. We draw into our mountain. How interesting. So this is going to be some tribal versus tribal. Let's go. Tyrant's Choice. Let's see, what does this thing do again? Starting with you, each player votes for Death or Torture. If Death gets more votes, each opponent sacrifice. If Torture gets more votes, or the vote is tied, each opponent loses four life. Uh, I'll lose some four life, I guess. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. I mean, we could sack Viverlint, I guess. Because they do want us to get to under 10. Uh, let's see. They voted... Well, it's just going to be torture anyway, so... We're going to take four either way. Alright. No attacks. And we get a Thriving Grove, which I am not going to play yet because we want to get out our creatures. It would be nice to get some refill coming here. We can at least start attacking in, though, which is good. I hate to say it, but uh, I built my wife vampire deck very similar to this one with uh, all these guys and all these tricks to try to get the life low. Uh, it's a Rakdos version, but uh, it does not fare well against Slivers. Definitely not. It can only get so far, and then we just stop them. We just wall them completely, and then just start chucking in for damage. Bump in the night, yep. So we'll see if they're a little bit more efficient, but... Soul Reap, destroy target, non-green creature. Control. It's controllers. Okay. That's a good one. I haven't seen that card. That's nice. So they got Vampire has Intimidate. They are being more efficient with their spells, at least, which is good. They're going to be able to get me pretty low here. I forget. Uh, intimidate is just means I can't block it unless it shares a color. Okay. That's right. All right. So we're off to the races a little bit. Need to get... Huh. That's interesting. It's not quite what we need. Let's see. Well, I can put this down. And I can make this guy eat. Could trade. kind of want to make them trade because we are getting low and if we can't block let's see we swing for six they go to ten and then they'll go to hmm swing for four make them block interesting not sure if I should provoke this thing or not uh, either way we're going to be attacking question is, do I want to provoke you?
Definitely not gonna with muscle. If only I could kill it and not have it trade. All right, I'm not gonna provoke this turn. Hmm, actually. They got three cards in hand. They could potentially kill us if they've got a couple, like, Bump the Night craps. Alright, now I'm getting kind of scared. I am going to say yes, but I should have done... I feel like I should have done it on my Viverlint. I should have made that trade on my Viverlint, not my Sidewinder. Um, I mean, Poisonous? We'll get there with the Poisonous, but we're going to kill them with damage quicker than the Poisonous, I feel, so... I think I'd rather just let them trade my Viverlin over my Sidewinder. But I am getting kind of nervous. I feel like this could be a blowout turn where I swing in and just wait that one turn and let them attack in for three, but then they just double spell me and kill me, make me lose like six life somehow. So we're gonna we're gonna trade. Get in for some damage. See what they can pull off. I think this might be our best shot. I, I just want some refill at this point too. That would be nice. Okay. Sign in blood. Draw some cards. Changeling. Huh. Okay. Well, kind of a problem. Can't block, though. I mean, that's the only good thing. Uh, we will call white for this. Just so we have an extra white. We've already got our red. Well, now all we can do is attack and hope. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can't block, can't be blocked. Alright. Uh, no. This guy can't block, right? Yeah, can't block. There's no point. There we go. Get in for six. We'll put him to four. This is another situation, though, where that one point of damage might be all it takes, though. I'm not sure. They swing for two. We go to five. Can they... They got four cards. I mean, that's the scary part is... All it needs is... All they need is, like, two spells to kill us, so... They are going to do the attack. <sighs> Let's see if they can figure out the provoke trigger here. <laughs> you going to provoke something? <laughs> Even though I can't block you? They are? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, sure. Poisonous one, coming in. Oh, we do got the poisonous kill, too. Well, let's see. Can you kill us? We're at five. Morsel. Target player loses three. And you gain three. If the spell's prowler costs us paid, draw a card. All right, so this comes down to it. Do you have the spell? Yep, they did. All right, so we did make the right play, I believe, with uh, forcing that block. But uh, it was a close one. Let's see what we need here. Spinner at now. Don't think so. Love some life gain back in here. Bring in some swift responses, I guess. That's all I'm thinking, really. I don't think there's much we need besides that. Take out one sentinel. Sure. Let's 
trunk back. They have some good additional cards that I uh, haven't seen before that really help push through that extra damage. Yep, we'll play first. Um, hmm. Wow. Wow. It's a slow hand, but a keepable hand. Thriving Grove. Double Thriving Grove, huh? Well, we're gonna call... What is this? Uh, yeah, we'll call red on this one. We'll call white on the other. We got a lot of one drops. We got a lord. I mean, we've got stuff to do, but they may start putting down the, the hurt pretty quickly. Already with the changeling outcast. It's going to be kind of annoying as I want to put down Viverlint. So they're going to get in for poisonous. Hmm. Um, hmm. I should have called white on this, I think. Hmm. What to do here? I think I'm still going to go Thriving Grove so I can get my mana straight. Um, yeah, white, just in case. Pass. Next turn, we can empty our hand out a little bit. Might have to switch response to Changeling eventually, if it becomes problematic. Morsel Thief, sure. Well, we get a planes anyways. Alright. So. Let's see here. Let's throw this down. Definitely putting down this boy. And the Lord. Should we just stick it to the Lord here? I think so. Start going. We'll put down Plated and hold up a swift response next turn to kill off their Changeling. Hopefully they don't have a, another creature they can keep throwing down. It looks like, looks like this version of... Uh, well, I don't know what you'd call this anymore. It doesn't seem like vampires as much. Maybe we just haven't seen enough creatures. But it looks like they're playing a very low creature count. That's what I'm trying to say here. Low creature count. More spells. But I wouldn't really call this mono black control. Alright, vampire. We can at least do some stuff there. Uh Yep. Sure. We are taking some some hits here, man. Alright. Well, we got a predatory, so that's good. Get another lord. Do I wait a turn here? Let's get in there. So, Ghoul Jaws, or whatever the name is, what is it, Ghoul or Gruel? Ghoul Jaws is definitely going to pop off next turn, I'm thinking. Four cards in hand. So we'll get hit for quite a bit. Hmm. We're getting to that situation again where it's just like, Ooh. one spell will kill us. Especially next turn. I don't think they can kill us this turn, but... Next turn, we'll definitely be in danger. We can kill one of their creatures. And it'll definitely be the... Changeling. Yep. Alright. 
So I'll reap my plated. They're really concerned about that plated. Cena land is fine. That's not exactly what I want to be seeing here. So now they just have blockers. That's pretty, pretty crummy. That they're just keeping back him as a blocker. Well, I guess we'll pass and just kill their changeling. So now I'm thinking if they swing in with Ghoul, we'll kill that. That way they don't have to keep it on blocks anymore. They are going in for both. Makes me a bit concerned. Let's go ahead and kill that one. Fortunately, can't block this. I don't think they can do seven to us, though. Did they play that land yet? Okay. Passing. Interesting. Well, again, we're kind of just hoping they can't do it. But same situation as last game. They swing for two, we go to five. There's two spells out from just dying. So, let's see what happens. I go to six and six. Six poisonous, six life. Land, all right. Four cards. What you got for me? All right. All right. They didn't have it. They were full of something. I'm not sure what. Oh, let me think. Do I want to do this any differently? No. I think this is fine. Let's keep it going. Let's see how game three goes. I don't know what they were sitting on. Like they had so many cards. Wow. Uh, double winding way, man. Double winding way. Mm, we're on the draw. All right, I'll keep. I'm not super pumped about this, though. I'm keeping because... We can always winding way into some lands if we're really desperate and still have another one for backup. Um, which we might have to do. I don't know. It's two red cards. That's not great. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Huh. Let's see what we draw. If we draw plains or mountain, I'd be happy, obviously, but. I need the stampede. Alright, well. We just got another refill, so I think we're safe to go for some lands here. land. Give me something. Wow, that's not what we wanted. I lost two Predatories and a Viverlint, both of which I could have been playing. Whew. Well, I don't know. Would you have made that call? Would you have gone for the lands at this point? I feel like since we have the two other refills, it's reasonable to say go for the lands and get your mana right, but we just lost out on some really good cards. It's a bit unfortunate. It's a lot unfortunate. Alright, they're down to four cards. 
I want them to run out of steam a little bit. They're not hammering us too hard yet. Which means they're, uh... If they, like, pass here, they got removal for days or something. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they have a couple more removal cards. That's scary. Don't want to deal with that. That's super scary. Okay, well... Take a three next turn. Oh, boy. Ugh. This is rough, man. Oh, I'm getting so mana screwed right here. I think I have to go for uh, another Winding Way play, right? Try to dig for more lands? I can't... I mean, I just lost out on three green cards, so... I have to uh, try to get something here. Oh my gosh. We hit a sinew, a plated, and another predatory, and we got a forest again. Rip me. Rip me. Getting hit with three Gouldraz vampires. I mean, who wouldn't have dug at this point, right? We got a handful of stuff we can't play. Maybe I should have just mulliganed the hand, but it seemed like it was worth keeping. Seemed like we had outs. We were on the draw. Two lead. Oh, wow. Well, all right. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. It's a little rough. I kind of just want to go plated... And then lead the Stampede. See what else we can uh, find, I guess. Be mana efficient, since we can only play one thing anyways. Alright, gem hide is helpful. Gem hide will be helpful. Okay. This guy's gonna die, though. That's the problem. I know they've got another Verdict or something. Three cards. Alright, land is good. Here comes the verdict. Tyrant's choice. Alright, how are they going to vote me here? Yeah, torture. Death. It's tied. Everything becomes huge. We're just getting sacked for nine. We're just a little too late. Little too late. What's my out here? I do have a hunter. I don't think I can make a dent... In this, they're just gonna kill me anyways. All right, GG. Oh man, that was oh, that was such a dirty last game. It didn't feel good. It didn't feel good. Tell me what you guys thought about that one. What would you have done? Would you have kept that hand? Would you have mulliganed? Uh, would you kept digging? I, I think I made the right plays by digging. I think it was it was a hand worth keeping. We had outs. We just got screwed over, which is just it happens sometimes. That's how the game goes. But leave a like if you enjoyed that one. Make sure to subscribe. We're gonna have more. Popper Slivers coming up in the rest of the week. Some Pioneer Slivers, Doom Eternal, and some Call of Duty coming up at the end of the week on Saturday too. So make sure to stay tuned for that and make sure to subscribe. We will see you guys in the next video.